start recording and I'm going to put so the the rules are pretty straightforward there's lots of lots of strategy and lots of cool stuff to do is there a chat room in discord like can I just type or do I, do I have to put it out into the general chat I don't know oh you know what? I'll just put it in the, into the group me okay so here's the rules if, if you want but I, I will be walking everybody through it and let me just post uh, the links to the twitch uh, twitch stream and I'll be right back is that you chip with the tabletop simulator music yeah yeah I turned it down oh, I see you're joining so you look good I totally missed your demo I have to catch that again I, I didn't I didn't demo anything I just showed uh, I, I just you could see all the components out. That was all that was there. I was supposed okay. to, before tonight, or before now, I was supposed to get through everything and write a list of errata and then fix it. Hmm. Okay. okay. But I'll probably get that tomorrow morning before work. It's a beautiful background. This yeah, it is. I would just want to hang this up on my wall. It's This game is so beautiful. And it, I find it is a really good um more complex game right this like this is obviously f far more rich than say like i don't know a, a standard family game apples to apples or something and i just feel like getting people into this is is pretty easy and then once you get them into a game like this it's easier to get them into you know into harder tougher games a little gateway yeah it's a gateway game okay wow all right, all right. So See, I need uh, to select the color here. I'll take game is out. Now, while I know how to play, I don't know necessarily how to use this board. So let me explore the board real quick to see where everything is. Right, I guess I'll choose a color. I normally play blue. I guess in this case it's teal. Okay, so the 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 goal of this game is to make your way across the uh, ancient Japanese famous road of Tokaido. As we go through, we're, we're just like rich, um, I don't know, I, I assume we're supposed to be rich, like rich samurai who um, we, you know, pride ourselves on our experiencing life, writing poetry, eating delicious food, and staying at the best possible places. So we are going to go from the beginning over here, where we first, um, first eat food, and we're going to navigate across all the way to the end. And that's, that's how you know when the game is over. Now, as we go, we're going to roll the die um let me see can it spin a little bit um movement Okay, so the person, so you can move as as far as you want, is it, I think that's, um,
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. So you can move as far as you want on each of your turns, but the person in last place is the one who goes next. So if I really wanted to get the best food, I could just move all the way out here, and then I would get first pick of the food. And then once I buy it, you guys can't you know buy that food. But now, let's say that Chip is like, okay, um, he wants to, mm, let's say that he really wants to go here. I don't, actually, I don't know what color Chip is. Uh, Chip is um. yellow. So, uh, so say that Chip is like, okay, well, he wants to go here. Okay, then he's going to get that reward. Or maybe he wants to paint a picture. He'll go here. So he gets to paint a green uh, painting, which is these uh, paddy fields over here. And that's worth one point uh, at the end of the game. Well, now Mark, if, if, if you were to do that, what Mark would end up wanting to do is Mark would end up wanting to go here and do that. And then he's in last place, so he gets to go again. And he's going to go here. And he's in the last place, so then he gets to go here, and he's in the last place. So then he gets to choose, does he want to go to the hot springs, or does he want to go to the temple, or does he want to make sure that he gets that blue painting? And it's kind of like, well, of course he wants to maximize his move, so he just goes to the hot springs. Well, okay, then Chip goes here and gets a blue painting. And pretty soon he's dominating the paintings because every opportunity he keeps stealing all the paintings. And uh, meanwhile, Mark is getting more points, maybe, from going through these individual spots. But he's not going to get the points for the paintings. And then eventually he gets here. And again, now Chip is last place. So he goes here. Then Mark's in last place. So he goes there. He gets to buy food. You have to stop at the restaurant, by the way. Mm. Then Chip goes. Now Chip is last place, so he gets to go. And I'd say he's still trying to get painting, so he goes here. Then Mark gets to go, so he chooses. I don't know, you know, what he chooses. Maybe he gets. He's out of money at that point, maybe. So he goes here for money. And then now it's my turn. If I wanted to, I could be crazy and I could just go all the way here. And again, I get the best food. I don't know if there's some strategy where I just buy all the food. Probably not. It's probably a losing strategy, but I could. And in that scenario now, last place keeps going until he's not last place anymore. Does that kind of like... So the, the food that you're getting, how is it better than the other food? Okay, so um, let's put these back real quick. All right. So the food. Um, when you get to the tavern... Let me look it up. Arriving at the inn. So... When you, go, when you first arrive to the inn, you draw as many cards as there are players plus one. So, um, I'll just draw, 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 draw. So I draw four. And then, can you see those cards, by the way? You shouldn't be able to. Just the tops of I them. do, yes. Yes, I do from your... Um, oh, yeah, uh, that's fine. I mean, but, okay. I can see the backs of them. Yeah. So I look, and I say, well... I want the most different unique foods. There's a reward for that. So um, I will take Dango and I buy that for one coin because it's that, you know, it costs one coin. And there we go. Everybody can see that I have Dango. And um, then. I want to make sure. Yeah. So now the rest of the cards, and, there's, and this is supposed to be a secret. This is what people get to choose from. So the second person to get here, they look at these three and they buy a card. And then the last person only has two cards to choose from. So it's very likely that he will either get stuck with the expensive food because there's more expensive food than this or he'll get stuck with the same food so he ends up you know he ends up buying a, a miso shiro here but then the next bar he also gets left with miso uh, shiro so that 
that's that's why being there first is a is a benefit because I can make can sure you only score are you only scoring one kind is that the point of so you are scoring six points but then there's a trophy at the end of the game that is for um right here it's an uh, your gourmet you get an extra um three points if you have the oh it's actually the greatest sum of coins on mills sorry it's not unique sorry it's not unique guys get that out of your brain um it's the most expensive coin so if you buy the most expensive food then you get an extra three points at the end of the game yeah, this is, it's kind of like vaguely euro-ish um you're doing all these things you're you're always going to earn points but at the end of the game the combination of things will determine how many points you get okay. extra it, is it it doesn't seem like it's that many points. Like three additional points at the end of the game doesn't seem like a lot. Well, because it's Euro, like we'll probably all be very close to each other. Okay. When when when, act, when absolutely every move gives you points, mm -hmm. except maybe yep. the uh, peasant that gives you three coins, um, everything kind of gives you points. That means that you're always getting points. And at the end, the difference between winning and losing is going to be kind of optimizing um, how many of these extra points that you get. Are um, these four cards out here, are they always the same four cards? In the base game, yeah. For end game, okay. Yeah. And what do the others, the others mean? Okay, there? so um, let me get these food back in here, and then, whoops. And then did, did you put the rest of the card in there so we can shuffle it? I did. Okay, great. I'll just shuffle. Boom. All right, so um, the first person to get to, well, not really the first person, but each time you get to one of these painting spots, which is green, blue, um, well, it's really the picture of the thing. So um, this thing is a painting spot. This blue thing is a painting spot. And this white thing is a painting spot. When you get there, you get to f draw more of the painting. There is a limited number of these cards. So there, um, there may only be a, uh, there may only be a single one of those cards. What is it that tells you that they're, that they're painting spots? The same. Look, um, it's, um, I guess it looks like it. Yeah, the, if you flip these, you can see they match. Okay. And it looks like they have different points, or they're so, all worth the same. Uh, well, the blue gives you more in the end, right? So you can finish the green and take this achievement. And the oh, first I person see. who finishes it Right, so you, you get one point for the first one. The second time you land on the green symbol, this, this symbol, you get a, a two-point card, so now you got three points total. The third time you got a three-point card, and if you're the first person to complete the painting, then you take this, which is an extra three points. Mm, okay. And then it's gone. You never realize, else can get that. So and you all you three of these here... Paintings, or are they all free when you land? They're all free when you land. So all three of these over here on the right, those are three separate paintings that you're trying to get parts of yes. on your trip. Okay. And so if you're going to keep... When you were just, originally when you were describing that, I thought it was only the top one was the painting. But okay, ah, yeah. that, that makes sense now. Yep. And so it's kind of cool because when you're playing the actual game at the table, you're literally putting these next to each other. And so you're seeing more and more of this panorama kind of get expanded out. Okay. So let me ask real quick again so yep. white is a painting yep uh i'm looking for the paint green is a painting yep and blue no that's correct that's correct okay. which uh the water okay now what about this pink um all right so the pink are encounters so oh, you draw okay. the top card of the encounter pile and whatever effect it is, it's like a random event. So mm -hmm. um, just... 
Are they all good, or can they be good and bad? They are all good. Oops. Okay. So, so it is a euro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you get the expansions, they're going to be cheek. more like, you know, whatever's, but... Uh, Takuhatsu, uh, Takuhatsu, Takuhatsu, Takuhatsu. Um, so this is, um, you give him a coin and you get four points. So you may be broke, and if you're broke and you got that card, you're really sad because you're not going to be able to get your your extra points. Do you keep the card, or do you have to discard it if you can't give him the money? How, how uh, does... You keep the card, but you don't get to use it again. So at the end of the game, the person who has the most encounters gets an extra three points because they're called a chatterbox. A chatterbox. That's the socialite word. Does that mean you're a socialite? I mean, I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> okay. Um, Never met a stranger. <laughs> there you go. Um, what are the black cards? Black cards is items. items that you can buy. So there's a there's a tactic where you try to get a lot of money and then you try to buy these more valuable things. And okay. um, this is what I, when I was talking about the collections of food, I was actually thinking of these. Not so the food is just whoever buys the most expensive food, they get the extra three points. On the other hand, the souvenirs, you draw three of these, and I think you can buy as many of them as you want. Let me let me make sure. As many as you can afford, I think. But it may, it may only be one. Um, the souvenir, the, it's called the village, and uh, you're only allowed to buy one, so. And they're only back in the deck afterwards. You're only, a, I'm sorry, I missed that. You're only allowed to buy one of what? Of one of these. So when you land on a village spot, uh -huh. you get these three and you can, can you buy one? one for two, in this case, two coins. Yeah, and everybody gets to see what you flip over and then you discard the rest. Or yeah, they, well, they go into the bottom of the deck. Can, can you, uh, what, what's, what's the, the card next to it? What's the spot next to it? Is that the card? No. Um, the rules very specifically say you place any unpurchased cards face down on the bottom of the pile. Now, what's the um, the the makeup of the card there? I see the one, three, five, seven. So the first of a collection. You so you want one of each souvenir. I see. Okay. And so the first of, a, of the collection, you get one point. If you have two different cards from the collection, then you get three points and so on. And, then, okay. and that's, they're not combined, right? So it's... Um, there you got two. No, this is actually uh, the same... Um, Watching, yeah. Right? Uh, so you would have three points now. What what makes it's actually this the same picture. collection? Is, is it the the symbol there, the totem the, pole, or whatever? The, the statue. Yeah, the statue. Okay. So you actually want um, different different um, pictures. Oh, okay. So you don't. So not the same. So the one three five seven does it designate that you have that many of the same statue or symbol? It means that you have different symbols. Yeah. So in in their rule book. They have very specifically this example right here, and they say this is worth five points. Why is that worth five points? And I, um, so I've actually maybe even been playing it wrong, to be honest. Um, so they're saying that two statues plus food, like a sushi rolls, is one plus one plus three. So I've actually totally been oh. playing this wrong the whole time because I thought this was three. Because it's two, you know, two different ones, but they're saying that um, the first card is always worth one, no matter what, and then okay. every different card is worth that additional amount. Ah, okay. 
You still lost so, me. So, so the two, the two uh, statues, uh, you really don't need one of them. You only need, you only need one of them. And then the, the second one is the, the, um, there rolls, whatever. Yeah. So, so this is worth one. This is worth three. This is worth five. And then the other two are worth nothing more. Nothing and then the other ones are worth ones and ones. So Okay, so it's for each different set you collect. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So theoretically you could get Oh, oh okay. no, I guess once you once you have it all full, right? If you got how many different ones are there? Um four, well, see there's four. one, two, three, four. So, so this is a full set. Four of them, yeah. So okay. is everything after this full set just worth one or can no, you collect another you set? You can have as many different sets as you want. Okay. So in there so okay. they have an example of two statues and two clothings, which is worth eight points because it's one and one and three and three. Got it. And okay. that's within okay. each um color coded town. So like the, this is the black the, the bl it's always black. All all of them are black because there's only one deck. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. So there was, I thought there was another uh, town deck there beside it. The hot springs. Uh, so the the hot springs. That's not another town deck. Okay. Okay. Well, first of all, let's just talk about the farm. The farm, you just get three coins. So that's how you get more money. Which one's the farm? It has the three pictures of the three low coins right here. Let's see here. In fact, actually, I'll just grab my person. Yeah. This is a this is a farm. So there's no cards related no cards. to that. You just get three. You, just, you go there, you get three points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, then yep. there is the hot springs. No, this is a temple. Sorry, temple. Okay. At the temple, you can donate one, two, or three coins, placing them in the temple section of the board for your color. Okay. You get one point per coin that you donate. And at the end of the game, you will get points and additional points based off of, um, I believe it's, um, let me just make sure. I don't want to guess. Would to be whoever has the most coins gets seven? I don't think that's true though. That's that's why that's why I wanted to make oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that would make logical sense, but it doesn't make it game sense. Yeah, because it's such a um But it is absolutely. So the first player gets ten points. The first as in the one who's donated the most? Yes. Okay. Second and it and it's only at the end of the game when when you reap the benefits of what you're donating. Nothing while you're Correct. On, your on the road. Okay. You. I mean, you get one point per coin as you're traveling. Okay. So. Um, and then and then a bonus of where you rank is the whoever donated the most at the end. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, Melissa. Um, thanks for joining us. Um. I don't know who Run Reset Run is, but hello. Thanks for joining us. I'm just teaching them how to play. If I do anything wrong, definitely correct me. Even though I'm looking at the rule book, so I mean, I, I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to do anything wrong. Okay, so um, what do we have here? So after that the hot is the hot springs. And the hot springs, you draw the hot spring card, and that's it. It doesn't cost you anything, and it's... Um, they're either worth two or they're worth three points. And then the person who spent the most time at the hot springs at the end of the game gets an extra three points. So, I mean, it's very straightforward. Nothing special about them. Oops. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel like I've... I feel like I've got a, this deck messed up now. <laughs> okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Oliver's or one of the cats? Okay. 
All right, so I mean that's that's basically the game. There's not a lot to it. I don't remember what the die okay. is for though. Um, what about the travelers? Oh, so you have these the encounters, the pink people. No, they're the travelers. The left. These people. Oh, so we're a traveler. We, oh, we okay. are the travelers. So oh, um, these are expansion. Yeah, these are expansions. Um, I see. And I mean, the expansions still play pretty straightforward, but um, let's see. Let, let's just see how. I, I don't remember if it's draw two and pick one. Um, it's fine. We can play the base game. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming we put our little token here for your points. Which one? Yeah. Where'd you find the here? tokens yep. at? Next to your. Oh, token. down here. Okay. Okay. Draw two travelers and pick one. Is that for what? Is that for the expansion or is that for the base game? Oh, for the base game. Yep. Okay. So, so from this deck right here. Yeah, from the main deck in the middle. Draw two. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm you did shuffle it, or I guess it doesn't matter. I, I mean, yeah, the first game, first game, it doesn't matter. Maybe every other game after that. Okay. But they seem, I mean, they seem random. They're not in alphabetical order or anything. Okay. And how, how do we use the travelers? Okay. We don't need to hide these, right? No. Okay. But then you could help uh, give a brief. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, before I look at mine, let's look at okay. chips. So Satsuki, Satsuki's deal is... Looks like she's hungry. When she arrives at an inn, you receive one of the available mill cards at random for free. After you see the mill cards offered to you, you can instead choose to purchase one. But then you don't get the free one. Oh, okay. 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 Um, she's an orphan. And then you're covering uh, Hiroshige. So Hiroshige, he is the artist. When you arrive at each of the inns, before the mill, you take one panorama card of your choice, scoring the points for this card immediately. Just because? Just because. So, that's in. Oh, and we have to stop at each one of those. You have to stop, Regardless. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. He Something also, he's... if you notice... Um, I think you start the, that seems almost unfair, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that that coin at the top right is how much coins you start the game with. Let me, let me confirm. Sorry, everyone at home. Uh, this, I just haven't played, uh, Tokaido in, man, probably eight months, maybe it's been, it's been a while. All right. Um, yeah, you equal the coins in the top right of your card, which implies that Hiroshige is worse than Satsuki. Okay. It, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I have to trust. I have to trust them that that they know yeah, something. I'm sure they balanced it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go and look at marks. So Hirotada. Hiratara. I got a coin from the bank that automatically goes to the um, temple. And I can also additionally still add my one, two, or three coins that I can personally donate. Wow. So in terms of getting that big 10-point, well, and he gets eight coins to start the game? Love him. Wow. Uh, what about Zenimon? That one I couldn't find. He's the merchant, and he can purchase one souvenir for one coin instead of the marked price. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess I'm going to like temples and uh, whatchamacallits. So, Umege. That, I mean, that's eight coins. It's so crazy. Okay. But all right. I'm still distracted. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Umege. 
uh, earns one point and one coin for each encounter before the effects of the drawn encounter cards are applied. One point, one card before an encounter. Okay, that's interesting. Mitsukune. Uh, Mitsukune, the old man. He earns one additional point for each hot spring card and each achievement card. Hmm. Okay, I... Each achievement card. Uh, okay, I'm just going to get Umege. I don't know where these go. We'll just put that back. And then I will get five coins. Oh, you have to turn them in to get the coins? No, no, no. Uh, you get whatever is listed. So you get eight, I guess, if you chose. Oh, you choose one of the two. You don't get to choose both? I thought I get both. I got it. I oh, okay. yeah. Um, I'm going to go for, I think, uh, Hirotada for the uh, priest. So, I mean, the theory is that Chip got two very powerful cards. Uh, we will see. I mean, I do, I do feel like potentially completing the um what the the blue painting is worth a lot i mean it makes it a lot easier is that one is that a panoramic card is yeah. it because it looks like it's got all three uh um paintings on the back of it does that mean that i could complete any one of them you can add it, one of any it. panorama yeah you choose one okay are these we're what do we put in these coin buckets? Is that where we put our coins? Yeah, if you just click the draw coin button, it'll put it in there automatically. Those bowls probably came with some upgrade to the game. Uh, I don't have that. And also, I don't have this um, painting. I just have the board. But this is pretty. Yeah, Mark, if you underneath the coin uh, stack or whatever, <laughs> there's a button there that says draw coin. When you click on it, it'll it'll actually put it in your bowl. It, did, it put it in my hand when I did draw. Oh, we didn't draw. That's, we just clicked the button. Just click on the button there. I did not know. Well, I have the coins in there anyway. We're good. Okay. Oh, and actually, all the rules for all the people are up here. So it's on the board. I don't know if there's any other boards. No, just those boards. Yeah. At any rate. So if we played uh, a second game, because we might actually have enough time for, for a second game, um, you could Mark see left a coin over here. all this stuff. I left a coin? Where did I leave a coin? Right here. Huh? That's how rich he is. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even notice. All right. And so I'll get rid of that. Put myself there. All right, who goes first? And that would be me, because I'm in last place. Uh, we could okay. probably roll to to determine that if you want. I don't. I, I think the. I don't what know. Was, what was the die for, by the way? Did we ever figure that out? No, maybe somebody at home. Uh, well, no, I, I. I think the die is for the expansion. Okay. Because the base game is pretty euro. Like, there's not any choice. Well, I guess there's chance, but there's like low chance. Okay. Oh man, oh man. Okay, wait, so what's my deal again? My deal is I like encounters. But encounters are oh no, encounters right there. So boom. It may. And I can spend a coin to buy a food. I'm assuming you just spend the coin, you just take the top card and it's yours. Yeah. Um Oh, and before I, technically before I do anything with them, I get a coin and I get a point because that's my character's ability. Oops. Okay. So I will, I guess, give that coin right back.
and buy the food. Thai meshi. Um, yeah, very traditional Japanese meal. Um, I, I lived with, well, my stepmom's Japanese, and I did live with the Japanese family for a while. And it, it tastes okay, but it's very saddening to me. <laughs> okay, and that's that's it. That's my turn. Is it me? I'm, you're up. We're going you're in, clockwise. You're in last place. Well, whoever's in last place, it's actually not oh, clockwise. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, I, one thing I didn't catch is, other than the restaurants, can we still visit the same place or not allowed oh, to? Okay. So the only way you can visit the same place. And that's this is the strategy, by the way. So uh, the only way you can visit the same place is if it has a second notch. Oh, okay. And if there is more players than we have, I don't. I think it's okay. maybe three. Maybe it's four players, but definitely not three players. Okay. I see. Yeah. So uh, I've just blocked off this encounter. That's one less encounter than you guys can actually take. Um, that's, that's right, because we can never use it until we move past you. Yeah. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, this is an interesting game. This is I I. It's very clever. I I feel like this is a this is a very good game, which is why I think Will Wheaton did it on season one of his uh, of his tabletop game thing. So I draw one of these, right? Yep. All right, you took my move. And I'm not allowed to go that extra spot because it's only for four more players is what you're saying. That's correct. So now everybody can see this card when I draw it? Yeah, it doesn't matter because they're going to go on the bottom okay. of the deck anyways. Okay, I'll put it down okay. then. And oh, wait. I'm trying to remember. Oh, what, this red one is the temple, right? Which is where I want to go anyway, right? So wait, wait. Did you draw food? No, no, I see. You're doing. You need to draw three of them and see which one you three? want to buy. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I get a. I get a draw from the bank. A coin. And then you probably want to buy the compito. Does it? Does it matter? I, I don't. It may not matter, but does it matter that? Uh, should mark. Watch to see what I do before he makes his his move. Or mm, no, I don't think so because there's okay. no way for him to interact with what you're doing. Okay, so I have to pay the coin to keep one of these cards, correct? Basically, is what either you're one, two, or three. Yeah, yeah, and I'm so broke. <laughs> I think I'm keeping the one. <laughs> that, that's fair. They're all worth the same number of points right now. That yeah, that's what I figured. So. Um, All right, so I paid. I, I took one coin from the bank, and then I put these and both in the discard two, pile, right? And these actually go in the bottom of the deck. On Technically, the they, they maybe they okay. go in the bottom of the deck, but maybe there's no way to do that in this. Um, maybe that's what that spot's for. Yeah, because when the deck's empty, then you come back over here. Should yeah. I flip them over then? Because they wouldn't be the bottom. I guess it doesn't. I, I guess. At the table, it would just go forever, right? You'd never have to shuffle because um, you would okay. just keep drawing. But in this scenario, I mean, all you could really do is flip it and then, like, try to grab the whole deck. But let's just let's just you know keep it face up sure. so you don't accidentally draw from it. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mark, and you want to tell uh, tell us what you did? Yep. So I moved to the temple. Uh, okay. My character likes temples because I get a, a free coin from the bank to pay in. And wow. then I also put in two of my own coins, so move me up to three points, and now I have three coins in the Templar. Awesome. All right, Chip, it is your turn. So now I have to move ahead of you at minimum. Yeah. I couldn't move up here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> quite, quite sure. Okay. All right. Then I guess I'll take a. I draw from here, or. Uh... Oh, you landed on the painting, the panorama. Uh huh. 
Okay, so yeah, you just draw the rice patty one. Okay, take it. And then let me see, because actually I think maybe we're supposed to get points as we do things. So um, Mark, he gets three coins because he put three coins there. Maybe yeah, he is that. Four. And then I think I get six points. Um, because Tai Meshi. And then, um, let, let me check, because I don't know if we, if we track points for all cards. Obviously, um, Chip doesn't know how much his cards are worth yet, so he wouldn't get, um, it wouldn't make any sense for him to get points yet. Why not? I mean, wouldn't you, he'd just get one point, and then when he gets another one, it would move, you would add the, move it two more, or no? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Points at the end. Yeah, no, I, I think that's fair. Let me let me just confirm how we're supposed to do it, but I think that's right. The player earns these points oh. at the time that he adds these cards. Absolutely, yeah. So Chip has one point. Quick question for you: if if uh, if I go to the springs here, yeah, the springs gets me a spring card. I forgot what the spring card. It's just do. points. It's either two or three. Two or three points. Okay. And then the white is one of the... Is white the mountain? The white is the panoramic. I, I flipped the last one in the panorama just so you could see the symbol. Okay. And you would need to collect four of them to really get good points though, right? Yeah, I mean, um, I think the third one is pretty good. I mean, this, I think the turn, the point economy is probably you want two points per action. And then if you get more than two points per action, then you're ahead of the game. All right, I'm just going to go take one of the mountain ones. I'll take the first one. And I get one point. I'm, I'm behind your economy right there since I'm not getting two points per turn. Okay. And then I will I will land on the hot springs. Do I want to land on how much money do I have? I I have a fair amount of money, so I am fine. I will land on the hot springs. And I will get three points. And you didn't have to spend any thing. money for that? No, hot springs are free. Uh, it's just like panoramas are free. Um, the farm, obviously, it pays you instead of you paying it. And then um, the temple costs you money. The, the inn costs you money. You don't have to, I mean, you don't have to buy it, but uh, and the village costs you money. And you can't land as a second place there because we don't have four players. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah, that's, okay. that's what Mark was saying. So it's... I'm sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. So then I go... Go there, get some money. Um, is that, that, that gives you money. Okay. Yep, three yeah, money. I, I need money bad. That's three? Okay. Yep. Two, three. Okay. And... Oh man, oh, so tough. Let's go ahead and land on the temple. Oh, you took my spot. No, it just means that um, I'm going to lose my encounter. Do I want to lose my encounter? Is is my encounter worth more than your temple? Because you will guaranteed take that temple if I if I take that encounter. Um. Oh man. I, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I feel like it's a little combative, and I feel like uh, it's my only chance to keep up with, with Mark at all. So I will donate three to the temple. Nice. 
one, two, three, and that's three more points. And it is Mark's turn. So you got a whole, so you got like six points from the encounter, right? Yeah, I spent one money to buy one food. So. Okay. And that got you six points? Yeah, because, I mean, food is always six I, points. I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking going to that encounter sounds pretty damn good, then. Oh, because you got a food from the encounter. And food is always worth it. You're not guaranteed to get a food from the encounter. I, I didn't. Not guaranteed. Okay. Hmm. So. Um, just question. What else is in the encounter? Do you know? Or? Okay, yeah. Other things in the encounter deck is a... Uh, a guy who gives you the top card of the souvenir deck. Um, a person who gives you a panorama card. Any, uh, whichever. Is, I'm going to go to the counter. Okay. There's one that's just guaranteed three points. Um, yeah. Um, I got... A mountain, right? So you take the next tier in the where? Where's the card? Yeah, you take the next uh, next mountain card. Perfect. Oh, that was, that was a good one. draw. Yeah, that was pretty good. Excellent. Fred. Yep. Okay, so I will just take this one. And I will give myself two more points. And chip. Okay. You said I draw uh, three of these? Yep. There's a draw three button, too. Oh, is there? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Yes. Oh, good for you. And this is going to go in the encounter over here, right? Discard? Yeah. Oh, wait, no, you keep your person. Because at the end of the game, oh, whoever is them? the ch chattiest gets a bonus. So now it doesn't matter okay. which one of these I take. They're all equally the same of value, worth the same value to me, regardless, right? These three cards. Um, is it, where's your other card? It, it, here, I'll drop it down here. Yeah, it's supposed to be public. Yeah, I, I was just leaving it where I could quickly refer to it. Sure. This is it right here. Oh, so it's actually worth uh, three points. All of them are worth three points. It doesn't matter. It, equally the same, yeah, because yeah. they're all one. They're all the same symbol, which yep. is interesting. Again, they're just trying to like they're trying to mm -hmm. balance the the theme with with the game. Yeah. So I'll uh, discard these two and keep the other one. That's good. I mean. You spent one point and you got three. Or you spent one coin and you got three points. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, I forgot to put that coin up. Okay. Cool. All right. And, and you get to go again. Is, uh, Panorama. That's the next spot, right? If you want to take the next spot, yeah. So I have to draw. Uh, which one is that one? Okay, so that's, that's a, a bottom one. That's a blue one. Okay. Yep, this. So you have to no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Okay. So from a strategy perspective, I mean, if this to... is the only blue card you might get the rest of the game, doesn't make sense. Then yeah. it would make more sense to go to the hot springs. Mm -hmm. But if you kind of think that you might get a couple more blue cards. At the third blue card puts you ahead of a hot springs. But up until that point, you're basically a negative. On the other hand, if you want to keep some of us from getting the blue card, then that that makes sense too. Right, right. I'm not saying it's a bad idea to get the blue card. I just want to make sure that you understood the... You know, and what are the hot springs cards again? I forgot. It's either two or three points. And of course, whoever has the most hot springs at the end of the game gets an extra three points on top of it. Hmm.
Um, you know, I think I'm going to, I am going to take this. Yeah. It starts paying off at the end. And really it pays off a little bit more, right? Because if you're the first person to complete the C panorama, then it's another three points on top of it. You know, I, I haven't been, uh, I, I haven't uh, remembered to move my uh, score marker here. I've been trying to move it for you if I miss yeah. something. Okay. So you should be able to add it up. It should be, um, and it, so you have one plus three is four, five and six. So you should now be at six. Okay. Because you don't have any coins in the temple. And right. that's it. All right, and I am, uh, oh man, okay. <laughs> so white. It's not, oh man, it's, oh, I get to go. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it's a bunch of stuff I don't care about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, by going first, that means that if, if I don't choose the in, then um, you guys get the in, but... I can't let Mark get that that mountain. <laughs> hate I hate moving. I see how it works. I hate being defensive against you, Mark. Like I feel like uh, I feel like that's a losing strategy. Well, you, you so far stole a temple for me. Now you stole a mountain. I mean, hey, Mark's pretty good at that too. So, <laughs> well, Chip is not doing his job. So. <laughs> 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 I'm on top of you. I, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I'm I sure. will go for the... Hot Springs? Um, hot Springs. And yeah, it's three points. Cards apparently is good. And how much points was it? I got to put it down. Hold on. Just putting it down next to the other one. Two. Unlucky me. Two. Yeah. All right, and Chip's turn, because he's going to get to buy some food. So I go to the top? Yep. And draw four food carts. Uh, you're supposed to look at them secretly and buy one, which, and when you buy it, then that one becomes public. And the reason why you're supposed to look at it secretly is if there was, if we were far behind, it would tell us whether or not we want to rush forward or not. Okay. So I think what you're saying is you can just put it and put them all out because that's our next move anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> can you guys see what I'm... Can you see the cards in my hand here? No. Are they hidden it looks like you have a lot of cards in your hand, by the way. Well, I have the two... Uh, oh, this is supposed to be public. Yeah, here, let me set them back down. It's just that I'm having to scroll up there to, you know, away from... My own tableau. So I was putting them where I could refer, you know, and re remind myself. Well, but anyway, those are the two publics. Uh, no, that's that's fair. I mean, um, is well, I guess I guess it's fair until you actually have food cards. At which point, it's it gets questionable. So here's the four that I drew. Yeah. And since I'm learning, I'm going to show you and and understand. Um, so. It doesn't matter which one. I, I mean, I, 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 it would make sense for me to to pay two bucks for six points, right? These others are all give me six points for one coin, right? Whoever has so, the most expensive food gets an extra three points at the end of the game. So you want to spend the least amount possible for food while spending just a little bit more than everybody else. Okay. So the the uh, the most expensive food is the the coin value, not the point value. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then I should take this one. That would uh, be a well, better chance. Just keep choice. my because you're broke. Whereas, <laughs> so that's totally fine if you feel like you're gonna get some more coins soon. <laughs> and, and I, I mean, I don't think Mark is gonna, you know, land on the spot that's worth zero points and gives him three more coins. He's far more likely to steal that next temple spot because he's. Uh, he is guaranteed that temple spot if he wants the temple spot. Um, I am I am somewhat likely to to land on the peasant place and earn some coin because I'm also kind of broke. 
Actually, I'm more broke than you are. But just keep that in mind. That you may be broke yeah. for a really long time. The rest of the game, maybe. If uh, if you spend a lot of your money on yakitori. Okay. So I hear you. Then I'll spend one. And it doesn't matter what the type of food is. No. So so the most expensive is just if, the flat well, out most like, expensive. So if there's a food you like there, I mean, I'd go with that. Yeah. Dango I, is delicious. I, I don't know a lot of different of the foods. They all look very similar to me. Now, what do I do with these? Put them back in the deck? No. Technically, they no, go no. back on the top of... Uh, no, they just go back on the side. Sorry. Right here? They're available? Yeah, they're available. Those are the only ones available to the rest of us to buy. I see. Okay. You just put them So I leave side. them. Okay. So then I go. And as much as I love Yakitori... I will get the Nigiri Neshi for one coin. Did you get your six points, Chip? Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I was supposed to score that immediately. Okay. So I am so six. broke. It takes me to 12. Okay. Well, I've been That's broke good. since the beginning of the game, so I don't know the difference. That's true. <laughs> since you all think Yakitori is so yummy, I am going to buy the Yakitori. And this then goes the bottom of the deck. Oh. And I should get six. There. Yeah, they need a discard pile there next to it. I think it's just so that you uh, don't run out of cards. If you notice, there's very few cards. But there's and also, again. like, there's only so many times you can even land on any of these spaces. Except, well, I, I guess except in a larger game. Yeah, that, that's probably where it makes sense. How many coins do either of you have? I'm just curious. I have one. I have four. Uh, three or four. Chip? I have three. If he screws us out of coins. I could screw you guys a little bit by going to the coin spot, because you both kind of need coins. So I, I actually think I'm going to do that. You're not going to go to the temple? No, I'm going to take the coins. You know, you've been hate, hate moving against me, so, you know. Well, maybe this is just going to reset everything back to the way it should be. All right, all right, all right. So, um, wow. Well, I'm broke. So I can't even, I can land on the temple, but it doesn't do me any good because I'm poor. Um, I can land on the blue, except I don't, what is this, mountain? Yeah, I don't have any blue, so that's like a bad move for me. I could land on green. Is that really need of me to do that? I mean, no, it's the right. No, move. you're playing playing the game. So if I land on green, green gives me two points. Uh, neither of you have any. No, uh, Chip does. Oh man, you know I'm just gonna be crazy because, um, why not? Partially because it gives me a coin. So that gives me a coin, and it gives me a point, because that's what my special ability it does. Pretty good on points. There. How did you get so far ahead? So, so my uh, I got lucky. I got real super lucky. And now, hope my character get... was supposed to draw a panorama card. Whenever oh, I yeah, draw it. Took the meal. It, was it when I drew the meal? Uh, it was, was before. One? It was technically it was before you drew the meal. Okay. So I grab any one of them? Yep. I think I should probably go with that. So uh, so the biggest thing that gave me an advantage, Mark, was I drew Itame. And Itame allowed me to spend one coin for a food card. A food. And that's six points. I got it. Wow. Yeah. So that's a big, in this game, that's a big, sounds like a big pointage six. Yeah. Now, this time I got a samurai, which is only three points. Um, but it's kind of at least I got another coin and that's good but it did cost me a lot of points and it's going to allow you guys to get a lot of, of points to catch up I just don't think you were going to let me have that encounter though so at any rate Chip it's your turn this was okay. probably a hor horrific move we'll see so this spot this first spot here is that the bottom panorama that is the yeah yep it is yep water so that would give me the number three card. Yeah. And then you get to go again. 
So that puts you up to 15 points, Chip. I'm in last place. Oh, I haven't been... So am I supposed to score those two and three points when I drew them? Well, I just scored but, the three for you. If you didn't score the two before... I didn't score the two. I didn't realize I was supposed to immediately. Okay. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You should be at 17 points. Okay. 15, 16, 17. Okay. So in general, it's kind of like a point salad a little bit. You just pretty much score every time you're doing something on your turn. Yeah. Not okay. And so you get um, land on temple. So now to to the temple, I've got a. I have to donate uh, no. at least one coin. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but otherwise, there's no point. There's no point, but that at least puts me in the running, right? Yeah, it gives you four points guaranteed. Yeah, that's what I thought. So and, that's, and possibly uh, more. I mean, who knows? It seems like a uh, no-brainer. And you get a point immediately. So actually, because it, it actually gives you five points guaranteed. Oh, there we go. So, so that's going to put you go up ahead. to 18. Oh, I'm was, I supposed to put it over on the temple, right? Yeah, you put it in the temple. Okay, so I'm this guy. So I put one coin on there. And now I go again? Yep. Now the... Um, sorry, it gives me one point immediately. Yeah. Now, is that... Immediately one point per coin that you donated? Yeah, if you want to donate more than one point, you get more points. I, I think I need to hang on to my coins. Okay. <laughs> All right, then the next one is the... See, that gives me a full panorama there. Oh, no, it doesn't. I, I've got to draw number two. Yeah, that's number two, so... Take number two. You're going to give him the mountain. You didn't hate move. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> I will take my third mountain. I've already got the third mountain. Oh, you're talking about the middle card, the middle panorama. Yeah. And that'll give me three points. And that probably primes you for the bonus three for completing the mountain panorama first. And Chip's turn. Yeah, me and that temple, huh? <laughs> and well, that I mean that could push you up to ten. I mean, if you uh, if you don't take that temple, then Mark will take that temple, and he'll get even more money or something. I don't know, craziness. Yeah, he gets a free a free coin. Mm-hmm. All right. But Chip is running out of money. I've been out of money the whole game. <laughs> he started the game with no money. So that's one point Im immediately? Yeah. Wow. That is some I'm being moves. crazy. I don't know this game, but I, I feel like you guys not having money makes makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't need money. Hot springs. Hey, Chip, your turn. Points for money at the end of the game. All right. Uh, let me confirm. No, I don't know. I'm just don't, don't worry about. It. Don't worry. Really, don't worry about it. This one, this one uh, immediately ahead of you, Richard, which one is that one? Is that the mountains? Yes. And this one is the, so that f completes my panorama. Oh, no, it doesn't. One, two, three. It gives me number four. It says at any point you should be able to count your points just based off your collection. Um, there is no points for coins that I see. Maybe somebody so at home. 19 and 4 is 23. Right? Yeah. All right. Second mountain. It's 
two points. And then, um, so broke, so broke. All right. How much money does Chip have? I think Chip has two. One? Two or one. Yeah, I don't know. Looks one. like one. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Where did the three buttons, three button go? Maybe there's not three. Says there are 18. Oh, oh, look, there's a return cards button. Oh. How is that going to work? <laughs> okay, wait, look, watch your cards. Don't I'm going to click it. That might return all our cards, though. Okay. None of mine moved. Did you click it? I did. And now the button's I mean, there again. Yeah, none of mine moved. I'm okay. None of mine moved. Either. Okay. So then I will buy these fancy chopsticks, Hashi. So question for you. Yeah. Is when you go to the market or the food place, if you have no coins left, can you buy food? No. No, you can't. Okay. And are you out of coins now? No, I have one coin left. I had two coins. Now I have one coin. Okay. I thought you were at one before. No, that was Chip who had one. So. All right. Now I have one point for my fancy chopsticks. Clearly my strategy is not working because you have almost double my points. <laughs> On the other hand, though, you may have allowed Chip to, uh, to win, so I'm very worried. Yeah, I think, I think it's all you. Okay, so <laughs> you're saying... Because I had to block supposed... you, and you blocked me, and so of course that meant that Chip won. So I think what we needed is the fourth player, is what you're saying, to balance out Chip. Yeah. So you're saying that I go ahead and draw my free panorama card now before I even look at the meals? Oh, technically I go, right? Because no, no, I was behind you. Oh, oh, yeah, you went there first? Yeah, yeah, get yeah. your panorama first. Okay. And that scores me five. And it scores you right? three because you're going to get the C achievement. Here, I'll just toss that over there for you. So you get eight. So we have to somehow gang up on chip now, is what you're saying. So yeah. 23 and 8 is Good 31. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm tied with Richard. <laughs> and that's before you buy your food. But then we'll yeah, hopefully. I'm hoping I get something that costs one. So uh, you're saying I draw four? Is that right? Yeah. Four? And, and so if there's only one food that's worth one, or cost one, then you've locked me out of six points. Hopefully there's more. And if there's none, then I guess we're both screwed. And then uh, Mark's strategy will have paid off. <laughs> but Unlikely. But you decided to take the encounter, Richard. And I gave you guys all those points. <laughs> I wasn't the one who blocked coins. Um... <laughs> That was me. Yeah. I'm thinking okay, I go first next trying. round too. I could go take more cards. I was trying to select all these cards so I could drag them down. There we go, finally. It's weird. So you got one for six? Uh, you both get the, uh, is that Misoshiro? Can't read it. Misoshiro. I'll take this one. So I add that next to my uh, uh, Dango. 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 Yeah. Oh. All vowels in uh, Romanji, which is the um, like English spelling of Japanese words. They're all pronounced the same every single time. I'm trying to pick up my coin here. Maybe you just flip the coin bowl. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I, so I scored that at six immediately, yeah. and then I put the coin into the into the coin pile here. Yeah. Okay, so that's thirty-one, thirty-seven. And I will buy the miso. Shiro. Oh, you already scored me. So I did. I did. Me. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
And, you know, I have to go in here. Ah, that's funny. You can't take... Oh, there we go. And then I have my coins. So I will be taking... Uh, let's go with the sushi. You kept collecting the same makes no difference, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter, apparently. All right, so I'm buying the sushi for two. Um, did anybody score me or do I need to score me? Uh, I did not score you. I didn't either. Right. <clears throat> Actually, Mark, I've been scoring your points the whole game. If you... Oh, you have my points? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... So let's see. You guys have zero coins each, right? I'm at zero, yep. So literally, you can't really take any action but the coin action at this point, right? If I'm not mistaken, other than getting the green panorama, um, panorama, because the item one will cost you guys money. The event one potentially costs you money, right? Sometimes you have to pay a coin for something. Yeah. And neither of you have any money. So I'm going to stick with my strategy and hit the money. I don't know if this is a good strategy at this point, but I think you all have to move ahead of me to do something. Now, it means I probably lose out on the mountain range because Chip will probably take that ahead of me, or you can block that if you want, Richard. But I think for me, the money might make sense. I'm gonna do the this is probably a horrible strategy since I'm losing, but we'll try it anyway. Three more coins for me. Hmm. So I could get a green panorama. And I hate to give Chip another three points, but I'm going to do that. Oh, you get a coin. That's right, because you get a coin when you go on the event. It's my only coin that I could get. And uh, Shokunin, Shokunin, um, does he just give me a random card? I think he does. It looks it's like it does, you, good. Giving you a uh, souvenir? Yeah, just random, random souvenir from the top. Let's hope it's good. Oh, hey, good. It's worth three points. You don't have to pay the two bucks? Nope, just draw it random. Oh, there you go. You can see uh, Itame, uh, I have to pay a coin to get a food, but Shokunin is just add a souvenir. <coughs> Which is good because you're about to get three points by landing on that green panorama. And do I get the bonus? Is it complete? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You wow. I miscalculated there. Six so points. three plus three is six. Yep. Nice. I am really behind at this point. Is there any way I can come back to you now? I or think. Not really at this point? Um, I think there's actually still a lot of points to be earned, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, I mean, it seems like the the mountain that's seven points that are pretty much guaranteed yours, right? Yeah. Um, that's seven points. Um, Twenty nine. I take three for the. Points. I take three here. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. If you locked. if you lock in the temple, that's ten points plus all the coins. I mean, that's how you convert your wealth into points, anyway. So temple. So I should be using temples now since I have, I have like thirteen coins or something. Yeah, and we we don't have enough coins. It it's it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to even like hate move to take the temple. But is it my turn? So. I will I will land on the mountain. Steal it from me. Alright, what is the one above? That is Hot Springs. Hot Springs. So I'm gonna to go to the hot spring. Yeah, three points. Probably give me two points, right? Two or three, yeah. Three? Oh, I got the three. I'll give them to you. One, two, Thank three. You. Yep. 
and then let's see here. So I could get a blue card, my first one. I could get the temple for with my one coin. I will um I will land on the blue card. Gives me my first ocean. Your turn, Mark. No. Huh. I want the temple. But I'm thinking maybe I take the green card first. If you take the temple, not a big deal, I don't think. So you, you want to go for that event, I think. So, you know, I'll just take the I think it's one point, right? I'm oh, sorry. So I think I'm just going to take the one point. Might as well, right? Yeah. That gets me a green card. It's worth a point. I think you're going to jump ahead, but I just, you know, don't know. So twice six. And I do like as much as I want to hate move, uh, I'm a big proponent of never attacking the person in the lowest points. So I got one coin for the encounter and then could, could do a sheet. I can spend a coin for a panorama. Um, I will go ahead. I will spend the point for the next C card. Oh wait, that's not the C card. It's uh, oh the next uh, mountain. Yeah, that's perfect. It has four plus the achievement is seven points. Uh, you stole my mountain from me. All right, um, I am going to go and give four coins basically to the temple. So that'll give me four points. I get one from the bank. And then All I'm right, going thanks. To send three um, of my own. Thanks, Melissa. Good night. That should give me four points. I am behind you guys by a ton. That did lock in the 10, though. So, I mean, just so you're actually at 40. But yeah, it's still way behind. Um, but one of us got seven. At this point, me. Yeah, so, you got it. Yeah. I thought I was going to get that one. So, okay. So it is your turn again, Mark. All right. Um, you, how much money do either of you have? I have one coin. I can I buy food or I can buy a souvenir. Yeah, I'm thinking whether I go to the water one. I have no water, but I would like... Chip will probably go here. I'm, I'm going to go take... I'm going to go here. I will skip the water. And I will just go here and take a souvenir since I don't have any, I don't think. Okay. Uh, there's so, a button. Draw three. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's do that again. Uh, so let me hit the draw three. Let me get a different angle. Now let's see if it'll let me draw three. There we go. Um, and you're telling me it really doesn't matter which one I buy because the price doesn't matter. It's just the symbols, right, at the end? Yes. All right, then I'm just taking the one coin cost. Put that at the bank. And that would give me one point. And these go back, right? Return cards. Oh, look at that. They do go to the bottom when you return them. Hmm. Yeah. So those should be, so the others we should have put on the bottom, huh? That's well, okay. yeah, if we, yeah. yeah. Do you just want to put them in and. I wonder why there's a uh, discard pile there then. That's kind of. Maybe they built that first before they had it working. I don't um, know. Maybe so too... the, yeah, well, that's actually very possible. The other thing is that the expansion adds some more decks. And I can't remember exactly how they work. Um, 
Yeah, I can't remember. All right, who's, uh, it's Chip's turn. Wait, did you get three yeah. points? Wow. I did. Good for you. Um, so if, if you create a second panorama of, of something you already have, do you just score those same points again? Uh, uh, I will look it up. Uh, we're talking about the ocean, right? Because you already finished the ocean. Um, well, the one that's in front of me is the ocean, yeah. But I was wondering if, um, if I, regardless, if I, you can completed... only create a single panorama of each type. Okay, so any additional cards there, they don't even score you points when you draw. It actually says you can no longer even stop there. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. So if I'm going to do another panorama, I have to do the mountains. Yeah. Okay. You know, with more players, it actually becomes a lot more difficult to complete the panoramas. I imagine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so you know, there's the more spaces. Place, but. The only place I can go is to the to the restaurant then. That's it. Right. Okay. And then I draw a panorama card. And I have to take a mountain card is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And I can score that though. Yes. Okay. So that's... Is one. that your first mountain card? That's my first mountain card. Yeah. Yeah. And then I take the four uh, meal cards. Yep. You know, I think I'm just I'm waiting to get screwed. Those. Well, you guys were welcome to go to that restaurant for me. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank nice. goodness. Okay, so now the most expensive food means you take you take the cost of all the food that you have and add it together. That's correct. I'm currently okay. ahead on that. I think. No, I'm tied with uh, with Mark. You guys are at four, five. One of mine is not a food card, though. Oh, it's not. Oh, I, I'm ahead. I'm at five. Yeah. Because you got okay. that huge three. That huge three costs one for free, basically, with the. Uh... That was luck. That was totally luck. How do, how do I turn rotate cards with my uh, with my keyboard? Um, well, you have to use the Q button. The R doesn't work for me. Q and E. Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, I guess I'll, yeah, I'm going to save money, so I'll take this one. So that's six points and a coin. I got to spend a coin. Yeah. Did you score me? I did not. Okay. I'm trying to clean that's my little area over here. 44 and six is 50, right? Okay. Okay. So I will and there I will buy Dongo. Dongo. All right. And I think I want to take the food lead because I really don't have anything else to do with money at this point. Although that does cost quite a bit of funds. I will buy it. Three. I feel like I'm I'm competing with you, Richard. And unfortunately I should not be competing with you probably. Yeah, I mean We're we're definitely both playing a more similar game than uh than Chip is, which is why he's just kind of like running off on his own. All right, I got to go again. Let's see, is that a mountain? I can't, I got to zoom in. Is that first one a mountain there? It is a hot springs. That is a hot springs? Yep. Um, I'll go there, why not? 
I don't need to steal the money at this point, so I'll just take another hot springs. Uh, what did I get? Uh, two points. Encounter. Try coin. Miko. Um. Chip, you're up. I take one coin from the bank and place it as an offering on the temple. Richard, how much money do you have left at this point? One. One, okay. Yeah. And how much do you have, right. Chip? I have two. Um, so what happens if you and I tie, Richard? We both get on the, the temple. So if we're, if we're tied, we'll both get seven. Or we'll both get ten if we somehow uh, move ahead of, of Mark. You need to get some coins to get ahead of me at this point. <laughs> There's yeah. no more temples. Oh, well, well, there's still there's random events. I don't know if it's worth s spending the rest of my money to do that or go try to take advantage of that encounter. That um, souvenir, whatever those are called. I mean, this is like what our second to last round for most of us, depending on how aggressive people get. Oh, because you mean you run out of money? Well, because you just ran out of turns, right? So if any of us charge forward to get something, then it's just going to leave it for you to kind of like mop up or, or vice versa. I'll go here. Oh, this Dongo was not purchased, right? Uh, I think it was the leftover one. There's probably a way to automate that here that we just, I don't know. I clicked on the draw three uh, souvenirs button, but it didn't. Uh... I click it again, like maybe adjust your angle. It actually rolled the little state, you know, the little logging statement that popped up. It actually said draw three. Oh. And there it goes again. I guess it's broken now. We broke it. I'm wondering if the cards are going somewhere. <laughs> oh, 19? That still says 19. All right, I'm just going to... Here. Mark is now <laughs> a human robot. So I just need a, a different symbol than what I've got, right? That's it. And the two I've got are those and those, so I don't want that one. So I just need one of either one of these. Yeah. So it doesn't matter which one. Nope. That'll be my two bucks. And then, um, well, now I don't have the button to put back on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> um, right, well, I'm going to go to the temple anyway. Um, if you get to put a free coin up there. Point. I've never seen that before. I will add three of my coins up there as well. Which will end me getting and you get five points, points, right, Chip? Uh, yes. Yes. I got to be sure and put my coins over there. And then I will move again. I will take the coins. I just it's funny that I can't get that coin out of that bucket. Okay. Out of that bowl. All right, and that's <laughs> the end of my turn. All right. Um, you scored me five, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess I will... Well, I can't land on. No, that's that's not mountain, is it? That's ocean. 
Yeah, it's ocean. So I have one ocean that would be worth two points. Or I could go hot springs. Um, how many hot springs cards do you have, Mark? I have three, I believe. Yep, I have three. Okay. Um, it looks like you have two hot springs. Yeah, so I could tie with you, and that would be it. Like, it's we would be tied. Yeah. It's three points at the end of the game. Or I take a risk, and I go for an encounter. So I actually have money at the end of the game to buy food. That's what I'm going to do. Draw a coin. Okay. Ooh. Cool game. One, That two. gives me three coins? Yeah. Okay. Now you got lots of coins. Oh, and I and I get a point. Yep. I don't know if I always gave myself a point um, for landing on each encounter, but uh, that's fine. I can add it up in the end if I really care. Yep. If it's close. Yeah. All right, Chip. Now the Hot Springs cards, they all require coins? Nope. No, they're just free, free points, points. Either two or they're three. They're free. Okay. And... Okay. It's to me it is dangerous that you can pick up a mountain cuz you get a free mountain. Um so you get a mountain that's a 2 and then before you eat food that's another 3. Uh, I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Get get your hot springs. It's it's better. Well, Mark can't take a mountain cuz he's completed. That's true. Nope, this is my fourth one. No, I meant I'm sorry. I was talking about these up here the Oh yeah, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. I I got mixed up in my head. I should have gone and taken that mountain card. I, I got mixed up in my head. Uh, if you want, you can go back and take it. No, no, that's okay. No. Um. Yeah, that's all right. What'd you get for the hot spring? It is t t t two points. Okay. Do I I just keep that here in the tableau, or do I? That's it. You just keep it. You keep everything, so at the end of the game, you can re-add up your points if need be. Okay. And you go again. Did you move me up or? I did. Yeah. Okay. You guys are next. It's me again. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah see, I, I, I don't know. Somewhere in a, a long, somewhere from the time that we left the restaurant, that I knew that I couldn't draw another set of the top cards. I don't know what is that river or whatever. Yeah. Um, Rice paddy. Somewhere along the way, I, I, I forgot that, and I was looking at the river symbols, thinking that that's my spot to stop at. <laughs> Yeah, but that's okay. And so now you have um, no money. And, and so I can only do, try to do the encounter, which is probably going to require at least one coin. Yeah. But you can block. You also block. No, I've got three bucks. Go. I got three bucks from the uh, hot springs. No, no, no. Those, those oh, no, don't no, give no, you that's points. Hot yeah, that's points. points. Okay. And uh, you can't land at a panorama that you've completed. So you can't block those, but you can block the, so the only blacksmith. So I can go to the. To the, the uh, village, I mean. The black, the, this right here, is that? The black one is the village, yeah. Village. So I can go there even though I can't afford to buy one of the cards. Let, let me check correct? on that. Just me. Okay. Which that's the correct play for me if it's a legal play. <clears throat> but I really messed up. I should have, uh, I shouldn't have gone, well. I probably should have. It looks like there's no restriction on landing it in the village. Okay. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. It says at the very end, a traveler must have at least one coin to stop at a village. Okay. You're not required so to purchase. I must. Something. Yeah. Food. I must go here then. Okay. And then I will take. Uh, I think it's the second mountain card, right? Because I've already. I've only got one. Yeah. So, knowing what you know now, Chip, was. Would getting a free food card, um, which is basically six points for zero coins every every round, is that is that somehow valuable, or do you think the panorama did better for you? Well, let's see where I end up with final score here. Yeah. So I, uh... I guess it's not technically final turn because I mean, I'm gonna then go and Mark's gonna go. Wow, I've got I've got four coins. Actually, I unexpectedly got a windfall. So yep, that was good. Um, 
I'm going to try to go for broke and go to the, yeah, the village. Yeah. So I'll just take the three points following you along. I get a, a three points, I think. And I can't afford it. Yeah, see, I messed up. Oh. So so I'm going to try to like avoid the fact that I shouldn't see what you're what you're doing. Oh, the uh, food chip. cards? Yeah, so I'm, I would have pulled these out. Oh, you're saying I would have looked at these before I reveal them. Is see, what, I, what I'm saying is that before I buy the Sandogasa, which costs 2, or the Kanzashi, uh-huh. And I only have 4 coins that I would make this decision before knowing how much food costs. But you, but but I moved to the restaurant first, so I wouldn't you reveal keep these secret. before the next. You keep it forever secret. You never show us. Oh, you only show us what you buy. That. I did not realize that. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were saying way back at the beginning. But Mark was like, and it, rightfully so, that at that point, it's fair to show everybody because mm -hmm. there was no other actions to take. But in this scenario, I'm still completing this action of deciding how much money to spend on this mm -hmm. before I decide how much, which doesn't matter because there's, there's no scenario where I'm going to give up um, five points. Well, no, there is. If, if I knew that I couldn't buy food, I'd rather get six points than five points. Mm -hmm. But I will just well, buy the You two. know that I have zero coins and I can't turn one over to show everybody because I can't buy one. <laughs> yeah. So I will buy the Zandagasa, and I will put these back at the bottom. And that gives me five more points. Oops. Mm. <laughs> So I got three more points for taking the two panoramas you left for me behind. And then I'm going to go to the end here. And since money's worth nothing, I will buy, where was the food? Let's flip them all now because there's no more decisions left. Um, I have three money. It's not worth anything. I want to keep my majority over you. So I will just take the uh, one of the three. And I will pay three coins. And I will buy my favorite, Tempura, for two coins. Watch coins be a tiebreaker. I was looking for it. Um, I mean, oops. It doesn't matter. I'm so far behind. It won't make a difference. And then I get six points for that. All right, I think we all it just that's it, right, Richard? You already went yep. in. So, um, right, so score the temple. All right, so the temple I would get ten points, which would take me to sixty-two. Okay, I will get seven points. Chip will get two points. I, we were tied for a little bit there, but I got an encounter. I think four they gave points, me. right? Oh, I thought it was four. four. Are you at four? Ten, seven, what happened? Four. Well, I, I was know, just like, looking at the... Third place is four, right? It is four. You have four points, yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I, yeah, you're right. I have two coins. I thought you were saying... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I um, seriously debated uh, just tying you. At the temple, but either way, I was going to be out of money for the rest of the game. So, well, and then uh, I think I got this uh, this chick Miko. So, I if you were tied with me at three, and then I drew Miko, I would have been at four anyways. Unless if you had drew if you put in four, you would have been ahead of me, and then we would have tied anyways. I don't know. Depends on timing of when you're going to do that. All yeah. right, um, achievement cards. Uh, you already got your pan. Everybody's got their panorama cards. Gourmet, highest sum of coins. Gets three That's points. Me. Okay, marks. Uh, most collector cards. I have three souvenirs. Mm 
Who has? Um, I I only have one souvenir. Chip, I have three. Um, let me make sure. These right here. Yeah, I'm just confirming that we tie. Um, yeah, we each score three. So, um, each of us get three for a collector. I have Chatterbox. I wasn't scoring myself if you were. Oh, sorry. I'll give you your... Whoops. Where were you at, Mark? 61? Uh, just take back three. I was tied with Chip, whatever he was. You were moving him up three, I think, right? So... Yeah. 64, one, two, right? One, two, three. Or one, one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then... Um, the most bathing. I have two. I have three. So Mark gets that one. What's the most bathing? Springs. The hot springs. Hot springs? Yeah. It's called the bather. I like so, to be clean. There you go. So this is, is the that game. It? That's it. Is there a tiebreaker? Me and me and Chip actually ended up with the same amount of points. Let me yeah, see. you get a lot more money, so I imagine. No, I'm out of. I have one coin left. Yeah, I've got zero. So you've got a lot more than me. <laughs> no tiebreaker, or no, there are no tiebreakers. One coin is a lot more than zero coins. <laughs> Infinite more. Yes. An indeterminate amount. <laughs> oh, okay. So the most achievement cards is the tiebreaker. The chip, right? Um, well, which ones are considered achievement cards? The panoramas the are the yeah, panoramas count. So I've got two, and then yeah, that's it, I guess, just the two. Yeah, well, you have just the two. I mean, you have two panorama cards, plus you have the collector. Why do I get the collector? We both have the collector, technically. Oh, for the most souvenirs? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just the bather and the glutton. Yeah. But who really wins in the end, Mark? I mean, you're wealthy. You got the best food. We're All three of us are winners. The, the game was fantastic. Oh, a good game. A good game. Very good game. Yeah. Here, I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to capture that score. So Crossroads, um, obviously each expansion adds some more travelers, possibly more interesting travelers, I don't know. Um, and then Crossroads, they add an extra... Oh, you know what? This isn't... <laughs> that's funny. This is, I believe, gifts. This is not a discard pile. It's like... Oh. Um, it's empty. So if we turn if we turn on that expansion, it will it will put another deck there, and uh, it just it you know just more stuff. I think you get to maybe choose Takedo um, Matsuri. So I like the game a little little light for my taste, but uh, it was it was entertaining. I did like it, and it moves. Yeah, we can typically play two games in one night um, because especially if everybody's played before, like, the, you know, you can play pretty aggressively. Um, the first, when the travelers stop at each of the ends, so if the Matsuri expansion is, is turned on, then once all the travelers have arrived at the inn, the first player to arrive at the end draws two Matsuri cards. Uh, you look at the two cards, you choose one, place the other underneath the stack without showing it to the other players. The chosen Matsuri card is placed face up on top of the stack so that all players can see it. The effect is applied as soon as, uh, as, soon as it's revealed. And so um, this basically it triggers like, it might trigger a donation to the temple it might trigger receiving a amulet. Um, 
I don't know, basically all kinds of different special event, events, and each event is basically, the events are almost like an encounter card, but for the table. Every, like, everybody gets to participate. And the first person to the tavern gets to choose from two of those events which event he wants. So he needs to try to choose an event that helps him or hurts the, you know, the, the winner the most. It's kind of interesting. Uh, doesn't hurt the game, which is always important for a, a game like this that's pretty tightly balanced. Yeah, no, I, I like it. I think adding, again, one of the games I do like to play uh, with my kids mostly is um, Clank. Oh, yeah, I love Clank. Most people, yeah, most people like Clank in space better because it has more complexities to it. But to me, the complexities that Clank in space adds doesn't add to the fun of the game for me. So, you know, it's a lighter game, so I just prefer the regular Clank versus the Clank in space. Clank in space to me just takes longer. It doesn't add any more fun. In this game, I could see more cards doing something similar, like there's just more stuff going on, but doesn't really add to the game. But I don't know. I haven't played the expansion. Yeah. I, I thought it was good. Yeah, the Matsuri uh, expansion is, is pretty good. The crossroads, when you, land, uh, when you land at a panorama spot, now you can choose to take a cherry tree card in, instead. And yeah. every cherry tree card gives you two points and a coin. And I think mostly the point of that is so that um, there's never a, a spot on the board that you shouldn't take. Meaning that, like, you right, know, Chip was you. locked out. Yep. Which, which actually punished him a little bit, right? Because... Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, but thank God. Otherwise, he, we wouldn't have tied in score. And he'd well, have to use the <laughs> There you go. <laughs> um, he probably... He would have won, I think... Well, I mean, if I don't know. I mean... It, if Crossroads is turned on, um, every spot gives you a choice of what to do. And there's a the farm either gives you three coins or you can roll the die for the gaming room. And so that's what this die is for. So that would have given me... Um, so you to go to the gaming room costs you two coins and it's gambling so this would have been six coins oh wow yeah so the expansions actually might make this game more fun just i don't think it takes more time you just have a little bit more options yeah I, we always play with the expansions um but I mean, it is still a lighter game for my choice. And so because it's a lighter game, I typically play if I'm trying to get new people into the game or if it's a party and I don't want to have to like, you know, concentrate or, or rules adjudicate. The, the, right. To me, a big winner for this game is like um, my friend Jessica is a pretty much like a, she's a non-board game player. She plays a lot of video <laughs> games. Yeah. Um, okay. Games and, like this are easy to get them to. Yeah, she took enjoy. this game. Yeah. I showed her how to play once, and the next Sunday night, she immediately took it out and set up the game for everybody else. And she was she was running it with them, and she was having fun. Yeah. So uh, that it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. This is the only game that she's ever done that with. It's a very pretty I, game I, too. So. I liken um, Queen Domino to that. I've taught a lot of people that are not gamers queen domino and they love it and they'll play it as much you know anytime you ever bring it up or they'll even ask to play it and they're not gamers any other game you sit down they won't enjoy it but queen domino they love it yeah that, it's gotta, there's something nice about it. it it feels nice to have the non-gamers actually ask to play yeah. the game yeah uh so i'm gonna end the stream here we can keep talking after this but um hey guys at home thanks for joining us and um See you next week.